What up guys? So, when is a good time to start pressure washing? When is it a good time to start a pressure washing business? Well, when is a good time to learn how to start a pressure washing business? When is a good time to figure out that, hey, I want to start a pressure washing business and I want to be successful? That is more important than anything else of being successful. I have been in the business a long time and I have seen a lot of successful people and I've seen a lot of people come and a lot of people go and that's not a good thing. And so tonight I want to talk about being successful, things that we can do to help us be successful, things that can help us grow and things to get us to the next level. And again, I understand that, you know, a lot of times, you know, well, should I wait till the spring? Maybe I should wait till next year. I just, I, 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 is it, can I do it? And a lot of it has to do with it right up here. A lot of times we are, our, our mindset, and this weekend, this weekend at Washington, if you're going to make it to Washington, my, my presentation and Cody's presentation are this about the same. We both talk about the same stuff. I might talk about downstream a little bit more, but we talk about the same thing. So this week, I'm I, I was thinking about things, and I'm going to talk more about mindset and how you really grow a business, because the nuts and bolts of things that's only going to get you so far. But if you can change your mindset and you can get your mindset to understand, uh, you know. You know, like I said, I've been reading a book a month. That's like a freaking miracle for me. I, and I don't read it. I listen to it because I couldn't understand what I read anyway. So I listen to books. And so I've been doing one a month. And so my last book, I would highly recommend you to um, go check it out. It's called Purple Cow. Um, by Seth Golden. It's a great book. It's a short, it's only a two hour listen. So it's a very little book. Um, it's not very long at all. It's not one of those um, Russell Brunson books and it's about an eight hour book. This is a two and a half hour book. Um, I had a great Christmas light class up in Dayton this past week. And so I listened to it on the way back and it's a great book and it's about sales. That's right. It's not about pressure washing. It's not about Oh, um, you know, what? what is that thing or majigger to make the thing majigger work? Because at the end of the day, you know, a lot of times we get caught up into the, the, the shiny objects, you know. Oh, look, shiny. It's very shiny and it's very pretty. But that's not what grows our business at the end of the day. That's not what's going to get us to the next level. And so at Washington, I'm really going to talk about what drives us to the next level. First off, coming to Washington is a way that you can absolutely grow your business. Absolutely, you know, help you start off. And even if you're not planning on starting until the spring, if you can come to Washington now, you can get into the mindset. You can start doing, okay, so I had said, you know, when is a good time to start? So if you are up here in the north, if you're anywhere from probably Tennessee on, Tennessee north, you know, starting a pressure washing business this time of year, probably not the best thing. As in, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to go full time pressure washing. Probably not the best idea because we're getting ready to hit winter. Now, if you want to start and do, you know, start a pressure washing business and go ahead and start Christmas lights and really hit Christmas lights this year, I say go for it all in. Now, you're going to have to have some money to back you because you got to be able to buy some ads and you got to be able to, you know, learn how to do it and you got to buy some equipment. Now, you don't have to buy lots of equipment. Maybe you're on, maybe you've gotten laid off and you're drawing unemployment. And if you've got a state that gives you the extra $400 a month or a week, good for you. Um, if not, then, you know, this is some things you can do. Might make you some cash under the table if you push it. And that way you can keep on growing. So the next year you can keep growing your pressure washing business, Christmas light business, and keep rocking and rolling. 
It is not that difficult to hit forty to fifty thousand dollars your first year in Christmas lights. Now you're not going to be profiting forty to fifty thousand dollars, but you could profit twenty five thousand dollars in Christmas lights in that in that little time. And so these are some things that you definitely want to do. Now, if you are um, Tennessee and South, you know Georgia sometimes can be iffy. But you could start a pressure washing business. And if you're in Florida, I know you could start a pressure washing business right now. I mean, there's hundreds of other people starting pressure washing businesses down there, too. And so you just got to be smarter than they are. You know, you can't be the one saying, well, nobody wants to pay me. Nobody, nobody wants me to, nobody, nobody going to hire me. I can't get no work because you know what? You got to you got to get that out of your mindset, because if that's in your mindset, your mind's going to work against yourself. You just got to go find the right customers that will pay you um, what you want. You don't have to be the ninety nine dollar guy. You don't have to be the seventy nine dollar guy to get all the work. You can definitely go out there and get there and get to that next level. So I know I've seen some a question here. I want to answer. Let's see. What up, everybody? Um, how important, how's everybody doing tonight? Mr. Ryan asked. I am doing great. I just got back from a soccer game. Question, how should I respond when people ask me to wash their homes, but knowing I can't right now? When I explain my situation, they ask if I have anyone to refer them to. What should I tell them? Don't want to lose potential customers in the... Well, I'm going to probably tell you to... See if you can find somebody to wash for you or see if you can find a competitor that you can, you know, that you're going to hand them off. That kind of sucks. I would tell them my situation, see if they can get it into the spring, um, which I know a lot of people are going to want it now. And that just kind of sucks. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to obviously be like, dude, I'm laid up in the hospital and I can't do it. Um, you know, find maybe a competitor, maybe if you have a competitor um, that you can work with um, or see if you can find somebody at the firehouse that, you know, right now I know that, you know, and it's going to be something that you're going to have to suck it up and ask for some help. And then and the guys at the firehouse, I'm sure are willing to help you. Of uh, Hey, I'm trying to do this. You know, I'll, I'll give you half of whatever we make and, and do that. Um, obviously I understand that they don't know how to work everything and do everything. Um, but you know, you can teach them enough to get it done. It could happen. Um, you know, and you know, them guys at the firehouse, I'm sure are asking what they can do to help. And so that would be something that I would ask to help. You know, the good thing about you are too, oh, you know, we're getting into September. So I wouldn't worry about it too much just because, you know, in October, it might dry up anyway and be nothing. So, you know, I would just be honest and be like, I can't do it for you. Now, if we was in August and this happened, then that would be a different story. We're in October, you know, we're September, October. Yeah, you're going to lose a little bit of customers, but I would just be like, I'm sorry, I can't do it. My leg looks like crap and I will um, do that. That's probably what I would go after is that factor of, hey, I'm laid up. I can't, um, I can't help you out. You know, we're getting to the point now that the weather's going to start turning down and it's not going to happen anyway. Business just shows up. Word of mouth. Nope. Got to hunt it down and keep working and finding them even when we can barely answer your phone. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we should all be studying psychology. And that is so true because, you know, a lot of times we, we go down that road of, I got to learn how to do the pressure washing. I don't know how to do the pressure washing. I got to learn that. That's the most important thing is learning how to pressure wash. It's not that hard. Just put some bleach in there, put some, uh, spray some water on it. You don't even need surfactant. There's people don't even use surfactant. Just spray bleach up there, spray it off. And you're done. And you're like, Jason, it ain't that easy. Yeah, it is that easy. Can you screw up stuff? Yeah, you can screw up stuff. But you know how you're not going to screw up stuff? 
well, you know what? Next year, I'm going to do this. Next year, I'm going to go do that. Next year, you, you're, you, you're guaranteed you won't screw nothing up. That is the only way you will not screw something up is being, um, can't think of the word. What's the word I'm trying to think of? Next year, progr uh, procrastinating. My wife said, my beautiful other half is over here. Procrastinating. You know, if you procrastinate, I guarantee you, you will not screw up a thing. You won't kill one bush. You won't kill one tree. You won't knock over one flower. You won't break one thing. Procrastination is your biggest enemy. It is the enemy that is works up here and it works great with this. If you have a negative mindset, if you have a procrastination mindset, it works amazing how it can work. Ah, uh, you can do that next week. Ah, uh, you can do that next week. No, no, get up, get out there and get on it. Get it done. Go, go do that class. Go learn something else. And don't just buy a book and listen to it. Buy a book to listen to it and listen to it again and listen to it again until you get it down, until you can take action and go out there and hammer that nail and get it done and just drive it home. You know, if we can get it up here, just learning it up here does us no good. If we don't, if we don't take action, it does us no good to get it up there. When we take action, that is what will set us apart from all of our other competition. By taking action is the one thing that will set you apart from all competition. I guarantee it. Because you know what? At the end of the day, when you start learning stuff and you start taking action on that stuff that you learn and it takes you to the next level, that is what it's all about, guys. That is what is growing a business and being successful and going out there and doing it. So, can I start a business now? Yes, you can start a business now. If you're not in the South, I wouldn't quit your day job. But you know what you can do right now Why we're in the winter months, especially the Northern folks? We can go take action. But Jason, I don't have pictures. Oh, guess what? I can't. I can't. Get the can't out of your head. You might not be able to do it right now. But how can I figure out how to do it? Why well, I ain't got no pictures? Well, you go join crushandwashhelp.com slash um, training. And there's a whole bunch of pictures in the bottom of it that I put up there for you for free. That you can go and get those pictures and start building your Google My Business. You can go start building your website. You can start go building um, Facebook posts. Because I get, there's about 300 pictures on this pressurewisehelp.com slash free that you can go and get those pictures and start doing it. So there's that butt that just went out the window. Now that butt that just went out the window means you got to take action and go do it. If you don't take action, your neighbor, your competition take action. What happens when he takes action? I ain't got no work. My competition he just gets all the work. Yeah, because he takes action. And you know what? He might not take as much action now, action now, but he might have took a whole lot of action in the beginning that boosted him way up and helped him get boosted. Now, what happens when we get nice and comfy and we get boosted way up and do nothing? Well, you know what? If you start boosting up and Google starts seeing that you are more relevant, he's going to start falling down. And so that is the whole purpose of get out there, take action and get it done. Don't sit around and say, I'm going to do that next week. I'm going to do that next month. I'm going to do that in the spring. I'm going to do it in the spring. Do it now. Because you know what happens when you do it now? When you do it now, then what happens is, is then when spring comes around, you've already got a whole bunch of pictures on there. You got a whole bunch of um, vid you got some videos on there and, and you got all kinds of stuff on your Google. My business is completely fig fi um, completely filled out your um, your your posting on Google. My business, you're posting in on the Facebook groups, not in the face in the pressure washing groups either. Get out of those groups. Go into and, you know, if you're going to get in groups, get in marketing groups, getting things to learn that is going to be good for you. Because when you get in Facebook groups, they are like, I don't even know what they're like. I can't even tell you how what they're like. 
because it's a time-sucking machine. And if it's a time-sucking machine, that means you're not working on your business. That means you're not taking action. So, you know, time is the most valuable thing that we have. You get 24 hours a day, every day, and you're not guaranteed those 24 hours. You can die anytime. I've seen people die all times. You know, I've seen enough dead people in my life. I don't want to see no more. So, people die. It's just going to happen. So, you know, you have to go out there and use that time to make sure that you are taking action. Again, it's not easy. If, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And it is not easy. I promise you, it is not easy. It's something you have to do day after day after day after day. It's not something that, you know, usually a lot of a lot of new guys get on the roller coaster. They're on this roller coaster, a business roller coaster. So they'll start in the spring. Let's start out in the spring. And they get all this work. And buddy, they're just they're just cruising along, you know, they're going, they're just going up that hill. They, they're booked out two, three weeks. Well, what have they been doing in that two, three weeks that they haven't been doing the weeks when they were bored? They quit marketing. So when they quit marketing and then all of a sudden it goes, and then they're like, oh no, we got to start marketing again. We got to market again because then we got to go back up the hill and then they go back down the hill because today we're marketing the, the next three days they're doing the operations and they're not marketing. You know, when I tell people to, when you're taking your before and after pictures, that's not just to take before and after pictures. That's not just to cover your tail at the end of the day. That is for you to make sure that you have marketing stuff because you know what? You can zoom in on that picture. Maybe you see some dirty spots that I'm going to get it. That's a good before and after picture. And so that is the goal at the end of the day. All right. I have been talking a lot. Um, that's my plan exactly. But at the end of the day, guys, I really do want you successful. And one way to become successful is right here. Pressurewashhelp.com slash washathon. Um, there will be information there that there's only, I believe there's only five or six spots. We're only taking so many spots and that's it. Um, we're not going to overbook it. It is definitely something that um, we are only doing so much. Jason, can you talk about how we can be efficient with our SH. Yeah, so people worry about nickels and dimes. You know, you can cut it down. I used to cut mine down 50-50. Um, I did that for a couple reasons. One of the reasons was I didn't want to, it wasn't that it wasn't to save money as, as much as I didn't want to kill stuff. And so with my guys, they would always, um, so I would do that. Um, and so, yes, we can be efficient that way, but it was more so that we didn't kill anything. I know people that run it straight, so that way they get an extra house wash in a day, you know, and that's just another way to do it. You always have to be smarter than the toy you're playing with. Yep, absolutely. Um... And nobody cares about you. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you. Nobody's going to give a rat's tail about you at the end of the day. That is a guarantee. In fact, when you tell somebody that you're starting your own business, they're probably going to be like, are you sure about that? Are you sure that's a good idea? If you said you got a new job somewhere, they would be happy for you. When you tell somebody that you're starting your own business, it ain't all happy and rainbows and stuff. In fact, you're going to probably get a lot of negative stuff until you start being successful. And then they're like, oh, I didn't know you could be that successful. I There again, we I was downplaying you, you know. No, you can be successful. You can be successful. Take your finger and point at yourself and say, I can be successful. You can be successful. Guarantee that you can be successful. Six tickets left. Go out there and get your ticket. You can go to Cody's website. You can go to pressurewashhelp.com slash washathon. What's your thoughts on purchasing a property 
management list from a market. That's a great idea. It's called email marketing, baby. It is how I got a lot of commercial work. It is, you can do it that way. Um, I teach in right here. If you go to pressurewatchhelp.com slash training, I teach how to do it in there. Um, you don't have to buy, if you don't want to buy them, there's different ways of getting them. Um, there's a couple free ones, but there ain't many. There's some that you have to join different organizations that are out there. Um, like mine, I joined the um, Northern Kentucky Greater Cincinnati Apartment Association. And with that, guess what I got? I got the email list. Um, sometimes, if you know how to be sneaky, sneaky, you can go in there and find the email list. And so if you can go in there and find that email list, that works good too. Um, and then we start emailing. Now, you need an email provider to do this. You just can't go in there and CC all these people because it's going to go to spam. There's different ways of doing it. Um, there is several different ways of doing it. Um, one way is it's called GMAS. And so GMAS is a way to go out there and do it. And um, that's, a, that's a cheaper way. There's um, MailChimp isn't really a good one. Um, shoot, I'm trying to think of what it, it's called. It's not ConvertKit. It is, I can't think of the name of it now, but it's a great email thing. And even that one, there's things you have to do. You have to warm up the system, warm up that email. You can't just start getting a new email and hammering it out there because otherwise it's going to go to spam. Um, when we're sending emails, this is, this is a great class to go to. Learn how to write emails. Learn how to write email. Um, you know, something that I do, that I do personally um, is I have an email address that when I see sales funnels, I know what they look like. Um, just get on, get on Facebook. And anytime you see an ad, it's going to be, a, it's going to go to a sales funnel and sign up for it. They, you will get great email, um, headings to see what people click on because a lot of those people spend a lot of money to try to get them to click on it. And so what I do is, is I set up a whole nother email account and with that one email account, what I do is, is I send everybody's to them. Um, I just started this because I just started learning how to do this. And so it is something that works great because I can see what their email says. I can see what their title is. I can see how they write their emails and stuff and how they talk and, and, and what, you know, because in email marketing, is it isn't all about sell, 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 sell. Because if we do sell, 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 sell an email, they're going to unsubscribe from us. Now, there is some people we want them to unsubscribe because, again, they're not our customer. But we don't want everybody to unsubscribe because then it's, that don't do us no good. So, yes, and you will need to email. Yes. And so the next thing is, is once you get these emails, you will want to run them through a system. Now, some of the emails will come automatically. And if you're, if there's one that I'm thinking that you're thinking about buying from, there's other ones out there. There's several other ones out there. You know, in my course, in pressurewashhelp.com slash free, I actually talk about the, um, I actually talk about um, where to find a lot of them. So, um, in a national naft.org or something like it nafta.org is a good one i don't think that's actually the name i got i don't remember it the actual i'd have to look it up in my course but once we get that email list then we can start emailing and we can get more email lists um some other places you can get email lists now this is gold right here if you all don't know this is gold this is things that you can do in the winter time we can start this in the winter time even if we don't have our pressure washing business going this is something that you can do in the wintertime. So we can go to BOMA, B-O-M-A, B-O-A, B-O-M-A.com. BOMA.com is one that you can go and get, join the local chapter and you'll get all the information. It's property or building of many, something of that. Um, there is, um, the other thing you can do is, is a lot of these um, property, oh, I got one even better than email list that you can go find their email. You can definitely do this too is good old LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great way to get commercial property. If you want commercial property, you better be on LinkedIn and you better be hammering, hammering hard LinkedIn. 
And when I mean hammering hard, I don't mean just being like, uh, I looked at LinkedIn. I, I guess that's good enough. No. What I do is, and I'm running this myself, is, you know, you can go in LinkedIn. You can find out. There's, there's different services you can pay. Um, one of them is LinkedIn um sales it's like sales something and on there it's like 40 bucks a month 40 50 bucks a month but you can go in there and type in your area and then you can type in property managers and it's going to give you every property manager their e some of them will give them the, your email address the whole nine yards and then you can start um, um connecting with them and then two three times a week we're posting pictures about pressure washing I got a local pressure washer here. He's probably done $150,000, $150,000 off of one contact off of LinkedIn. Think about that. What would that do to your business if you've had connected with one person and it gave you $150,000? It's going to change your life. I guarantee you. You're going to be so busy. You don't know what the hell to do at the end of the day. So that is how, oh, that was a long thread on email marketing. Sorry about that, but that was very long. Um, I don't have, well, you might need to go hook up and find out where Illinois Power Washing is and help him out. I don't know how far you are, D-Bulk, but. Um, how do we get the contract work? Just what I was talking about. Um, he who hesitates loses. Yep, absolutely. Um, hi, y'all. Screwed up this. Screwed up a lot this week. So that that would be called a school of hard knocks week, and that's called learning the lessons the hard way sometimes. <laughs> and it happens. I mean, and sometimes in business, it's like a roller coaster, man. Some weeks you're like, I am the king. And the next week you're like, I suck balls. And, you know, nothing I do, everything I touch just goes to hell. And it happens. There is weeks that you're like, why am I doing this for? Why, I would just rather go work at McDonald's and 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 do that. And it happens. I never forget. I'll tell you one of my sad old stories. I was doing, we was doing a driveway. And it was decorated concrete. And it was a thousand dollar job. And it took us four hours and I'm like, man, I have made some money. I had about $300 in, in product and I'm like, I have made me some money. The next day they send me pictures of where their tires were sitting on it and it didn't look good. It wasn't good at all. And so about another thousand dollars into it and stripping and three days of labor of getting this stuff back off and resealing it. I was ready to give it some dynamite. So, you know, that was, like I say, I was about $1,300 into a $1,000 job of a screw up that I had to fix. And so that is what happens. If you're waiting on the top floor to get to you, it won't happen. Nope. Doing that camping world Monday night since hours of operations are weird. Awesome. Gutter cleaning. I did a good video on that one. It's actually taken off. And I had a good helper on that video. Dan, Dan's blog came with me. It really wasn't Dan's vlog, but it was Dan's vlog. Dan's a little bit shorter than me. Um, rules of power doing Monday night shouldn't take long Mr. William how you doing sir I see you are on here again I seen you I was up there a little bit before I don't get to see you anymore since I'm not down in Georgetown since I quit the firehouse you know and that's a big leap of faith. And I know people that want to quit their full-time job and do pressure washing full-time. 
And it is a big leap of faith. And, you know, it is something that you have to work hard and you can't quit working hard. If you quit working hard, you think it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not just going to fall in your lap at the end of the day. You got to go out there and, and hammer down and get it done. Doing well. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing good. Um, I'm excited. I get to go to Washington and meet a bunch of people, be, meet a bunch of you. And uh, that is awesome. Um, again, I will be at Washington on Thursday. Um, yes, he was in Cincinnati. Um, I will be at Washington on Thursday. We'll be driving down Thursday. I'm actually going to stop and see a good buddy of mine, Mr. Greg, Mr. Greg Townsend. Um, I'm going to stop on the way down and eat, have lunch or dinner, whatever time we get around there to him and, uh, with Mr. Greg. And so I'll probably, I might do a live with Greg. If you all, you know, I like Greg, um, he just getting, he's supposed to be eating lunch Monday with the mayor of the city cause they want to clean it up. Just started this year. So I'm really excited for Greg. All you undecides, and I will do it tomorrow. Blink your eyes if you want to do 10K a month. Mr. Jason is trying hard to get that 10K a month, and you'll get it. You will get there. I guarantee it. I need better surfactant so it sticks better or just may just increase the amount. Yeah. I mean, if you're just doing house washes, it doesn't really matter that much. It's going to clean. We're getting colder weather. That's going to have some issue with it. Um, get up, get out and get something. You can't spend all your time trying to get high. <laughs> There's a song about that. Oh, dude, I just want to get high. It's an older song. Some of you guys may not remember it. Um, was that the same one, Jody? Is that a different one? Um, love the content and information you give away. Can't say thanks a million times. Don't want to be a procrastinator, but when would you recommend to start marketing Christmas lights? So I would start, um, depending on your budget for Christmas light marketing. Um, you know, if you could, if you're going to do AdWords, I would start, um, probably October. I wouldn't get crazy on in October. I would probably do, three to $500 in October. And then I would try to do a thousand to 1500, maybe thousand to 2000, $3,000 in November. Um, because that is when the majority of your customers are going to be in Christmas lights. And so in November, I would give it all I could get on in November, um, in the, on the Christmas light side. And again, if you want Christmas light training, you can go somewhere up here. You can go to pressurewashhelp.com slash free and get it. But if you just want Christmas lights, you can go to, I don't know if I have it on here or not. Uh, let's see what this is. Huh. That's my brother right there. Um, this was a giveaway we did. This is a good way to get Christmas lights too. Um, we did this giveaway for a kid that had passed away and wanted a superhero um, Christmas light. Uh, or a superhero funeral. And so that's what we did for him. Um, you can go to christmaslightshelp.com and it'll take you to there too. Um, but yeah, this was a wedding that was cost like $200,000 wedding. We didn't make that on the Christmas lights. That was the overall cost on the wedding. It was, it was a very nice wedding. Very, very nice wedding. More money to know what to do with. Um, make sure you're all, make sure you all are marketing media is the same across all platforms. And, you know, I always tell people, um, until you, until you try to start just, instead of just throwing something on all of the social media stuff and everything, get good at one, get good at one thing. Um, because, you know, if we get good at one thing, you know, I'm in the marketing world too, you know, I'm getting, I'm good at one thing. What can anybody name what that one thing that I'm good in for my business right now that I'm good at YouTube. I'm good at YouTube because this is where I get my customers. 
you got to be good on rather you learn, you know, what, you know, the other thing that I'm good on and I grew my business on, I'm good at, um, um, AdWords. I got good at LinkedIn. I got good at Facebook. Facebook, I don't really care for because those customers wasn't as profitable as the rest of them. Um, at the time, I was good at next door because I would post on all of those. Now, I didn't get good at all of them at, at the very beginning. You know, YouTube is what I grow now on. Now, I want to turn some of these into podcasts. But, you know, I, you remember what I was telling you all not to do? I'm going to do that next week. I'm going to do that next month. Well, I've been procrastinating this for about three months now, three or four months. And so I got to practice what I preach. And a lot of the times is, is I do too much. Um, I try to, um, I try to bite off more than I can chew. And so for the person by myself, I can only do so much at the end of the day. Thanks for the super chat. Better to follow the shadow of the best than to remain the content with the worst. Love the content and I'm blessed by this industry. Um, on Google My Business, I'm up to 17 five-star reviews. That's awesome. See if we can get to 25 this year. Um, set a goal. Make a goal that if you hit 20 or 25, that you take your significant other out to dinner or something. Set a goal. Set goals. Goals will help you and make them smart goals. Um, there's a book out there that talks about smart goals. I don't remember the name of it. I'd have to look it up. Um, but smart goals um, is something that you, you set a time, you set different things, and it is what you want to. I'm going to see if I can look it up here real quick. Um, you know, set goals. Um, um, it's 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 specific so i'm going to hit 20 um reviews it's measurable i'm going to hit it you know i'm going to hit 20 reviews it's achievable it's it's relevant it's time based smart goals um it's definitely something that is um is something that you need to be able to grow your business because you know what when you set these goals of hey if i get 25 five star reviews I'm going to take my wife out to dinner and we're going to celebrate this. You know what? Then you're going to try harder to get there because you've got something that you can achieve and get it done. Winter is great for ramping up advertisement. I love it. It's definitely a good time to do things that you haven't done. You know, all these pictures that you've been taking. Now you can sit there and say, all right. We can start putting them on Google My Business. I can do different things with them. I can do all different kinds of things with them. Talking is good. Hello. I am finally out of this dream. Woo. Smash the thumbs up. We only have six tickets. Thanks for the super chat. Oh, shoot. Only six left in the pyramid. <laughs> we need to get on it. Here's the thing, guys. If you want to start your business and you want to grow it and you want to be successful, you need to come to Washington. Um, get around like-minded people and you will. You we've had some awesome people in the group that went in, in February of this year and they are killing it this year. Um, whether you're just starting out or you're wanting to get to the next level, it is definitely something that you want to definitely get on the there and do it. I started in April. Business was so, so nothing like some people are saying under 10 grand. Sometimes it's, we got to start out somewhere. When you tell someone that you are starting a business, they are putting you down. But do not let them get to you. It is just that they are too lazy to do it. And that is 100% true. You know, and the worst people to put you down is going to be your family. Um, family, close friends, stuff like that. Because you know what? They may have tried to do something. And I never forget when I started doing Christmas lights. I had a pretty good friend that was like, he was a landscaper. And he tried to learn just by doing, you know, school of hard knocks and through YouTube and stuff. And he failed. And it's like, and he was like, there ain't no money in it. There ain't no money in it. 
Christmas Light Cincinnati last year did a half a million dollars. So that means if they do another half a million dollars this year, that means they had to buy no product and make a half a million dollars. But yet you're telling me, and this is the same place he was in, that there's no money in Christmas lights. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that, sir. Um, I was wondering if Ron will be attending Washington. That is a big no. Um, let's see. I haven't started yet. What area are you in? Oh, that's um, up there. Just drive around and find dirty stuff and tell them I'll clean it. Actually, one of my good um, Chocho is in here. Um, tr um, what's his name? Travis? Nope, not Travis. Trent. Trent um, did a house for free for an older gentleman in his neighborhood, and it worked out well for him. Hey, well, when I talked to Jason and a person, he said there's a place that you can get SH from off of New Circle Road, and they will. Um, Russell Brunton email list. That's just the way he got it. That's the way he gets his email list, too. Um, that's not an actual place to get it. So, I use Leslie Pool Supply just because it's close. They only have 10%. Big Rock, 60000 would be great. And it, it can be done, guys. It absolutely can be done. Um, I currently just start pest control business four months ago using same customers for washing. Already have 15 jobs scheduled for... Um, that's awesome. And here's the thing, Ryan, a lot of this stuff, if you're still in, wanting to do the pest control stuff, pest control stuff is, it's okay for wintertime. You don't get a lot of work in wintertime either because pressure washing and pest control is kind of the same, um, area because when the cold comes, the bugs come in, but then once you kill them all, they're, they're not going, they're going away. Uh, um, I actually had a good buddy that is, that was in the pest control business for a long time. And you always slow down in the winter time, and uh, so it is something that again you can, and that is the thing that um, that is the thing that um, that is the thing that you can definitely go out there and uh, and do. I currently just started post. Oh yeah, Pitts is three hundred fifty miles from where I am. What I do know is there was working, I was only going to make 65000 but I think there is much more in potential being in business for myself. There is a lot of potential to be in business for yourself, guys. It is something that, you know, a lot. I know Cincinnati, like I've said before, Cincinnati, yes, it's big as in overall big, um, but it's not that big. The city of Lexington has more people in Lexington than there is in Cincinnati. Um, Lexington, Kentucky is actually bigger and has more people in it. So like Lexington, Kentucky has 350,000 people, um, where Cincinnati, the general area of Cincinnati only has right around 300 or 320,000 people. And that's including Northern Kentucky, the whole area. And so I know several people making well over six figure and some multi six figure even with pressure wash cincinnati doing a million dollar um business up there um i know one guy he works just the east side so 275 goes around cincinnati and he works just the east side in ohio not even in the kentucky side and he's close to half a million there's a guy in just northern kentucky um, Boone Kenton and Camel. He does go for some bigger commercial jobs, but he mostly stays in there. And he's hitting, he's probably going to hit 200, 250 this year um, doing it. Um, you know, DJ is not even hitting it hard, and he's probably going to hit 75, 80. Um, you know, 
uh, let's see. Oh, Benjamin Gregory is probably going to hit close to two, or he's going to hit close to half a million. So there is definitely money that can be made, even if there's competition. Competition is not bad. Competition is not bad at all. Um, competition can help you grow sometimes. Um, and you don't have to be the cheapest. The cheapest don't always win. I guarantee you the cheapest does not always win. My oil pump leaked and didn't notice it. I ran it for a while and it messed up ending up buying a new whole new pressure washer. Well, that stinks. I've had to do that before. And one time I had one pump that it was getting water in it bad and I probably should have put new seals in it. And it was an older pump and I'm like, screw it. Well, they came back with a big hole in the bottom where the rods came out the bottom of it. So it didn't work out very well. But it, like I say, it was probably five or six years old and I really didn't care. It gave me, I made my money worth of that um, thing. That gutter video was good. Watched it yesterday. Um, was that guy? Yes, he was up in Cincinnati. Put out 40 bandit signs today. We'll see. That's awesome. Put out another 40 next week. It's what you got to do. How I started to want to do this is that I bought a trailer down in Cape Mini. And I was looking in the trailers that needs cleaning. I was doing. How did you clean the tire marks off of driveways? Um, heat's a good way to get them off. Um, or a good degreaser. A good degreaser is another way to get them off. If you have cold water, you're going to need a good degreaser to get them off. Um, it can be difficult sometimes. Um, especially like a lot of times I understand that they want you to get them off of like new concrete from where like skid steers and, and that kind of stuff have turned on it. And you just got to be careful because if it's that brand new concrete, you'll mess up the concrete way worse than what the skid marks are. Um, if it's brand new concrete, you want to stay off of it. Um, if, if concrete is less than six months old, don't use any pressure on it. Um, I had some concrete about five months old and I was just playing with it a little bit. And I could, I, I could take my nozzle in my low stream nozzle and get it close enough that it would mess up that um, concrete. So you got to be careful on that concrete. Um, about pricing, best quote I have ever heard, don't jump over dollars to pick up nickels. Yep, don't jump over the dollars to pick up the pennies because um, it does you no good at the end of the day. Any money in solar panels? Yes, sir, there's good money in solar panels. Um, do a DI system and do it that way um, is the way I know a lot of people do them. Jason, please tell me that you guys are going to have another washathon in the future. Couldn't make that one. The goal is that, but we have, you know, it's one of those things that I don't know if it's, you know, I mean, it, our goal would be to have another one and it'll probably be maybe February. I don't know. Well, we don't know. We're playing it by ear. So, um, this one here was kind of a last minute as in with COVID, um, COVID being stupid, we didn't know. And I was like, let's do it. Screw it. Because I know people, you know, honestly, I when I first started my business, I went to a a, um, a, a thing in November. It was, um, when was that? November, September, when we went to Alabama down there to that, um, my very first one where that uh, military was dude was. It was September. It was in September was my first one. And it was before I ever built my trailer. Um, and so it, it is definitely um, something that I would do again. And I mean, I would find a better train. The, the training I took was okay. It wasn't great, but I, I had met great resources. Um, Michael Crisley was the, at this first one. Um, um, uh, I can't think. Responsibid was there. Um, all kinds of cool people were there. Um, Guy Black was there. Thad Eckloff. A bunch of people was there when I was when I very first started. 
thinking about adding it to my pressure washing business. Christmas lights is a good thing. I understand you got to be happy at what you do. Business for yourself is very fulfilling. And, you know, it kind of comes down to you have you have a lot of control of what your future is. You can have time freedom. You can have um, financial freedom. All kinds of freedoms that you can have by owning your own business. But, you know, if you go work on nine to five, you don't have those freedoms. And, you know, and what COVID taught us is, is, you might not ever have that. You, you know, a lot of people that thought their jobs were safe wasn't so safe at the end of the day. Um, in fact, they uh, they wasn't safe at all, you know. And there's people that don't have jobs now because they thought they were safe, that they had this safe job. And it wasn't safe at the end of the day. My son will not stop crying and complaining. What Kim could I use to stop him? Um, milk. Uh, that's what usually stops a lot of the younger kids. And if they're teething, an ice pack. <laughs> uh, Jason, congrats on quitting the day job. Keep the info coming. The videos are always helpful. And the website and membership is amazing. And if you want to go check it out, what Mr... Williams talking about is right here. Um, cleaning stuff, YouTube. Thanks for the super chat. It's better to follow even the shadow of the best than to remain content with the worst. And, and you know, that kind of goes back to also um, when, you know, if you surround your people with the five people that you surround yourself you're going to be like those five people. So if you put yourself around five duds, pretty good chance you're a dud. If you put yourself around five winners, pretty good chance you're a winner. And even if you're a loser out of that five, um, five people, you'll probably become a winner because that's how things work. You know, people send their kids to Harvard. So it's not about the education at the end of the day. It's about the connections that you can make while you're there. And that's the whole thing. Jason, Big Rob, after 37 years due to COVID, lost his job. Um, hey, Jason, is there going to be another Washington coming up? Got a decent avenue going, working on a second. It's tough to wash and talk, but I need to keep the phone ringing. If I make $10,000 in October, can I get a pressure washing kpw hoodie i'm sure that you can you don't need a hoodie you're in florida dude you don't need no hoodies in florida um i tell you what if you hit 10 grand in jason if you hit 10 grand in october i will send you a a king of pressure washing hoodie because i know you've been trying to hit that 10 grand for a while so let me know. I will do that for you. Got a new name. Dog. Should I name Dog Scrubs? Um, I want to. I want a piece of that 500k. Well, just because you bring in 500k doesn't mean that you make 500k either, guys. You got to get that too. Um, you get when you start hitting those numbers, a lot goes back out. So there's two types of business models. One is is be yourself. And grow it to $150,000, $200,000. And you do everything. And you'll be the most profitable. You'll put the most money in your pocket. Um, the second business model. And if you're planning on growing it and selling it. Or if you can figure out how to um, keep employees. Which good luck on that. I think the easiest. Um, you can scale it. And then you can grow it in bigger numbers. And then of course bigger numbers means bigger numbers going out. You know when yourself you know. Workers comp, you don't really have to pay workers comp if you're only the owner. If you have 10 employees, guess what? You pay a whole lot in workers comp. You pay a whole lot in payroll tax. And you pay a whole lot of money out. And money just goes out at that point. Any books or podcasts you recommend? Let me see here. I'll, I'll give you some. If I can 
type here because that way I'll make sure I'm giving you the right ones. Um, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash store, and if you go to, let me go there real quick. And that way I can show you some books too. So if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash store, and there you go to books, and I will give you some good books to read. Um, obviously this is, I haven't read it yet. I'm going to. The Pumpkin Plan is a good book. Um, all these are good books, but th these are ones I would really recommend. The Pumpkin Plan is a great book to start out. Profit First is another good book. Um, there is right here Profit First. Um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, if you are talking about, if you have a mindset problem of that kind of stuff, of dealing with that, that's a good book. Um, and then I haven't got them put on here, but all of Russell Brunson's books are pretty decent too. Um, the purple cow, I, like I say, the purple cow is a good book. I just got done reading it. Um, purple cow by Seth Golden. It's a good book. Um, purple cow transform your business by being remarkable. This is a good book right here. Um, like I say, I just got through it. It's a little bit older but it's still a good book. Um, I'm going to put that in there too. So um, I'm going to add this to my, that my book list. So you'll be able to find that book list there. Um, but yes, that's a good book. I just actually got, like I say, I personally just got done listening to it um, this week there. I just put it in there too. So if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash store, you'll find that stuff there. So, podcast, since you asked about podcasts, I'll give you a few podcasts um, that I would suggest you to listen to. Obviously, uh, Marketing Secrets by Russell Brunson, um, Social social Media Marketing by um, with Mark, uh, Mike Stelsner is a good one. Um, let's see here. Um, the Agents of Change is a good podcast. I would definitely recommend that one. Um, let's see, that's to get you started there. Them are some decent ones that I listen to. Um, there's some other ones too, but yes. Um, let's see. Have you ever done any training in Tulsa? I have not. Um, if you would like to host one. And I, because I'm going to probably start putting a schedule together for next year. Um, I don't, I don't have that link. Pressure wash. Uh, I don't see that link. So I do have a link somewhere talking about hosting it, but I don't have, have it on there. Um, coming in late, but I started my pressure washing business back on July 6th and it's tough yeah it can be tough um, especially in the month of July and August July and August is usually not a great time to start because a lot of times people are on vacation which this year COVID who knows what the heck happened there so um, this is my first year and I'm at 35,000 so far goal was 30 by the end of the year aiming for four might as well aim for 50,000 now shoot you're at 35,000. You can do 50. It's only 15,000 more. Go out there and kill it, dude. Um, that's awesome. I love hearing success stories like that. Can I use a car battery for my soft wash machine? Um, you can, but it's better to use a marine battery. Um, the marine battery is designed to run down where a car battery is designed to maintain a level. Um, when we start running a, a car battery down, then it, so if we started up here where this is and I did it and run it down and then it's only going to charge to here and then it's going to run down and it's only going to charge to here. And eventually that car battery is going to go dead where a Marine battery is designed to run all the way down and then back up and you can charge it all the way back up. Started a butcher shop for a wild game here in Oklahoma to take up the winter months. That's probably a good little money maker. I know around here they are busy as crap. They were like three, four months out a lot of them are. Um, that's not my thing. I don't care about dead stuff. 
Um, let's see here. What's up, Jason? Probably not the best time to start a pressure washing business, but I'm officially open for business. Thanks. I've learned a ton from you and you have given me some needed confidence. Awesome. And again, you know, it is time for Christmas light. Here's the other thing that, yes, it might not be a great time for pressure washing. Um, it, you know, if you, if you live somewhere where leaves come off the tree, which should be everywhere, gutter cleaning is a great business to get into. Um, you can make a lot of money in gutter cleaning. And the great thing about gutter cleaning is those can be repeat clients. And you can also use those clients to get pressure washing because, you know, if they're willing to pay for gutter cleaning, they'll probably be willing to pay for, um, pressure washing. How do you get rust off of concrete? I would use an acid. Um, F9 works. It's an expensive acid. You can use oxalic acid depending on how bad the rust stain is. Um, oxalic acid isn't as strong as an acid. Um, you can use F9 is designed for acid. It's not. It's a strong acid, but it's not going to kill you um, as easy as some other acids like aluminum brightener or stuff like that. I was looking at the trailers down at the campsites and I was like, oh my gosh, look at these that need cleaning. Yeah. Can I run a Predator engine five and a half gallon pump to have good starter up? Yep. You can do the five and a half gallon pump. If you're going to do the five and a half gallon pump, you might as well do the eight gallon pump. It's not that big of a price difference. Um, the kit for the eight, the kit for the eight gallon a minute pump was like 1100, about 1200 bucks. So. You can use it. Wastewater reclaim system invests good or waste of money. Depends on where you're located. If you're in California, it's probably good. If you're in Kentucky, it was probably going to be a waste. Um, I love solar panels. Good money. Love my DI system. Some guy on YouTube tells you exactly what you need to know. I wonder who that guy is. Um, and again, if you go to pressurewashhelp.com slash store, you can get it there. Um, yes, do a live with Greg. Will you ever start another pressure washing company again? Um, probably not. Probably not. I'm not going to say I won't. And it's not to say that I may I probably won't. It'll, it, I don't know. I'm not going to say I would or wouldn't. Um, at this point in time in my life, no. Um, I love what I do. I love being on YouTube. I love marketing. I love this side of things. And, you know, that's the great thing about starting your own business. If you would have told me five years ago, I'd be right here on YouTube teaching you all how to do that. I would have said, you are effing crazy. There is no way that I would do that. No way in hell. Hell would have to freeze over. Um, and so as I learned more about marketing and went and took marketing classes, learned more about YouTube, took YouTube classes, I love it now. You know, this is what I love. Every time, you know, my wife's like, you need to find a hobby. And I'm like, how can I make money off of it? That's how, what, that's how my brain thinks, you know, how can I start a YouTube channel off of it and make money off of it? And she's like, that's not what a hobby is. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah, yeah, it is. That's what a hobby is. How can I make money off of it? And so, you know, I used not be that way. I really didn't. Um, and that's how I am now. I love, I, I can see things, you know, and if I never would have started my pressure washing business, I wouldn't be this way. I would have, you know, here's the thing. A lot of people don't know how, how, how come I started a pressure washing business. So I was a fireman at Georgetown fire department. I was just a fireman. I got hired on at Georgetown for being a mechanic, kind of, but I, I really got hired on as a full-time um, firefighter. So I started working on their fire equipment before I started. Um, before I started, um, before I started at the firehouse, I was a full-time fire truck mechanic. I worked on fire trucks. I drive around the local. I was with the local dealership, and I drive an hour or two to work on fire trucks. And so I got on at Georgetown. And so once I got through my probationary and all that bull crap, I started to work on their fire trucks. And so um, I would worked on the fire trucks and I was at the point of 
um, I'm working on fire trucks and I was at the point of where they was, um, I was only getting paid overtime. So I wasn't getting paid much. And when I mean overtime, um, my, when I quit the firehouse of 12 years, I was only at $12 and 71 cents an hour. But at this time I was only at like $10 an hour. So I got overtime plus they did a little something with the time. And so I was at like 15 or 17, I was at $17 an hour was what I was making working on fire trucks. And so there was guys that had, I was on five, six years working on these fire trucks, making that kind of money. But there was guys picking up overtime that had just started the firehouse and was sleeping on the couch and was making like maybe a dollar less than I was. And I was like, this is a bunch of crap. I don't care what it is. This is a bunch of crap. So I'm, the promotions came around and there were three promotions coming up and I didn't get any of the three promotions. And I had told the chief that if I didn't get promoted, I was quitting working on fire trucks and I was saving them probably about a hundred grand a year. And I was only getting my high three was right at, um, right at $50,000. So I was saving them a ton of money at the end of the day. And by me getting that promotion would have given me about $10,000. So I was like, you know what, I'm done, I quit. And so that is when I was like, I'm gonna start my pressure washing business. And so when I started my pressure washing business, um, actually I had started a, a uh, working on fire trucks and then I moved to um, there. But by me doing that and me going out on a limb and me doing that kind of stuff, I learned all kinds of things. I learned things about marketing. I've learned things about growing businesses. I've grown a business to a million dollars and I learned different things of how to do things. I learned what I like to do and I learned what I love to do. And what I love to do is, is see success stories from you guys saying, Hey, you know, Nick from Illinois power washing saying, you know, he did right at almost $70,000 this year and he paid off all his, his stuff and he thought he was going to lose his job. And now he's had a bad motorcycle wreck. But even though he's had a bad motorcycle wreck, he has all a lot of his debt paid off because he was able to do that. That seeing Greg, Greg Townsend, you know, a guy that is just killing it right now. That is what excite, excites me. Seeing people like Al up in, um, up in Ohio, uh, a retired school teacher, you know, he's been doing it for 30 years of doing this stuff. But he was making no money in those 30 years. And now he's making good money and turning good profits. And that is what I enjoy doing. That is why I do what I do. Do I you do I do it to support my family? Hell yeah, I do. But what I really do is is for you guys. And I really do it a lot. I wouldn't get on here twice a week if I didn't try to help you all out. I know that I can help you guys grow to the next level. I know that I can give you financial freedom. I can give you time freedom and you say, how if you just listen to what I say and you go out there and just implement half of what I say, you're going to be successful at the end of the day. If you don't go out there and do nothing, I can't help you out at that point. If you're going to go out there and say, but Jason, I can't do that because of this. I can't help you. I can't get you over that because you have to believe in yourself. I will, I will believe in you too. If you will put some work into it, you know, Greg Townsend was one that sent me a letter. He sent me a message and I was just like, ah, you know, and I quit being this way because two people this year have changed me on that. Um, when I get that letter saying, Hey, my family, you know, I'm about to lose my job. I don't know how long it's going to last. I have two ki three, two, three kids, another one on the way, and I need to make this work. And when I get those letters a lot of times, this is what I'm going to do to you too. If you ever decide to give me that letter, I'm going to go here and I'm going to give you this. Pressurewashhelp.com slash free. You get your first month free. Go in there and learn everything you can. Go in there and hammer down. Don't just go in there and learn about the pressure washing side. Get into the marketing side and hammer down the marketing side. I want you to learn the marketing side. The marketing side in my membership is well worth way more than a, probably 10 grand is what I have invested in myself for it and trial and error on top of it. And so I want you to go in there and do this. So this, if, so if you, if you're struggling right now, if you're that person that is struggling, go up here, right here, go up here 
hit go to PressWatch.com slash free. You'll get your first free month and then work work it as hard as you can. If you cancel after your first month, oh well. If you don't, then I just hope that you keep going. The thing, the other thing you get out of this is, is I go live twice a month on Zoom calls. So next Sunday, we'll be live on Zoom call. Um, I have to get back from Washington in time, which we'll just leave early enough that I will. It'll be at seven o'clock at next week. So that's where about 20, 25 people get on and can ask questions of any questions they want. And a lot of the group, it's a group talk. So it's not just Jason saying stuff. It's get building those bonds and growing together. And that right there can help you. And you know what, if you're struggling, everybody knows that and you can all lift each other up. When everybody lifts everybody up, everybody does good. If we sit there and just think that we're alone, you're not alone. You can be in the group. You can go up there and check it out, and that way you want, can do that. Um, hi, can we doing good money with hot water pressure washer? You don't need hot water. Um, you can do away. You can do it with just cold and chemical, um, unless you're planning on doing a lot of flat work. Um, then you need hot water, or if you're planning on doing a lot of oil removal, you'll need hot water. Um, gum removal, gum removal, you definitely need hot water. Is it bad, actually bad, to pressure wash deco? I would rather just pressure wash than downstream, but I've heard, yeah, bad, that is very bad because um, stucco is only allowed so much moisture. And you can break that moisture band and that's not good. And so you definitely want to either use a dual barb injector for stucco or use the sud sucker, um, the one that you can really pull some suds or really pull some soap um, or down or, or um, X-Jet it too, $200 X-Jet. Seriously thinking about adding driveway ceiling and wood staining for decks? Stay the hell away from that. Go ahead and do um, driveway sealing. Driveway sealing is a money-making machine. Who was I talking to this week that was like, driveways is what we are making a ton of money. Oh, Trevor was um, in my Christmas light class. He did my pressure. So I actually got a video coming up. It will be coming up. Trevor, he's actually got a pretty cool um, pressure washer. Um, it's actually not a pressure washer. I wonder if I can show you just the short clip of it. It is, I need to get off here, but it is pretty cool here. Let's see if I can pull this up because this is pretty cool. This will be probably the start of my video because it is pretty cool. Let's see if I can pull this up here. Um, trust. So this here is a really cool thing here. It is a, um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to spoil it all the way. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. Um, Let's see if this is a play. Why won't that play? Come on, play. Let's see if it'll play here. If it'll play, this is really cool. Um, it's a pretty cool machine. This is just one part of the machine. Um, it might not play. I hope it plays because it's pretty cool. Let's see if I can turn it to the... Well, you ain't going to get to see it. I'll just have to tell you, talk to you about it. Um, this is pretty cool though, if it'll play. Let's see. So this here is it right here. And so uh, it's a trash can cleaner. And um, he starts it up here, but I don't know if it's going to play. If not, I will play. It will be in the, um, I will get it up here shortly. Um, I'm going to get it up here. So it's a trash can cleaner and he actually turns the jets on and it's spraying water all over. And it's pretty cool. Um, but it's a trash can cleaner that he started his business on. And then he came to my class in the spring and he kind of went from trash bin, trash bin cleaner to um, house wash and everything. Um, and some of it is, is just because he hasn't been marketing very good. And so that's kind of um, part of his issue. The other part of his issue is he still has a full-time job and he's trying to, and, and he makes good money over here. So he's trying to juggle 
getting this up higher so he because right now he makes good money at his job but he's gone all the time he's gone three to four days a week and he wants to be home with his family again time freedom but going back to this question edwin um deck staining is a lot of hard work and sucks and you can make money at it don't go in cheap go in at six to eight dollars a square foot and that's how you make money don't go in at two dollars a square foot on deck cleaning and sealing because you will lose your tail um jason what's the, what happened that's what happened to me i lost my job after 37 years due to covid yep I'm looking into buying a pressure washer for the shore, but I'm stuck with buying a Simpson 42 or the Simpson. I don't know which one to get. I would get a four gallon a minute for sure. Pressure means nothing. Um, my five are Guyman, Walker, wife, Billy Davidson, hoodie for Christina. Uh, Um, okay. Looking for more people to follow so I can learn as much as I can and enjoy soft washing. Well, my channel has a whole bunch. I get more to come up. I'm, um, I've been starting to put more in there. You can go to pressure washing or Christmas lights. I'd help too. And I got a bunch of stuff there too. Uh, I'm doing my rig next year. What do you recommend for cedar roofs? Roof wash? Um, I use bleach, but that ain't saying that's right. Um, I've used sodium, hy sodium um, hydroxide and about fell off the roof. And I know somebody else that used sodium hydroxide and did fall off the roof. And I even told him my story and he didn't listen. Luckily, it was only one story. Um, what do you think about clip flyers? I think they're stupid, but that's just my opinion and I have it Tax tip of the year if your shop is home base You can put your kids on payroll and pay them up to twelve thousand dollars a year and get it back tax time No age limit. They can basically only sweep and clean talking about tax time. And we'll go. I'll, I'll talk about this a little bit It's if you especially the guys that are making some money um, if you are making some money you want to go before the end of the year and talk to your cpa it's a good time to go in about november october november and that way they can say all right you've made this much money you need to figure out what to do with this much money or they'll be like all right we can we can make that work um and, and that's called tax planning if we plan it in october and say hey i need to be you know your tax accountant might say hey you need to go buy a new truck or some equipment so that way you don't, you're not going to be um, upside down in tax money. You're going to be owing twenty thousand dollars in tax. If you go spend that somewhere else in your business, then you don't have to pay that twenty thousand dollars. Now this is a good, this is a good accountant or CPA. Now if you wait till next year and do it, that's called tax fraud, and that's called you go to jail. So don't do stupid stuff and go to jail. Times are tough. How much drop the price if you use the location water? I don't drop the price at all. We use it all the time, and that's just part of the price. The only regret you will have after starting your own business is not starting sooner. Yep. And that's the thing, like I was saying, you learn all kinds of skills. You might start your own business, and you might hate owning your own business, but you might find a new skill of marketing or sales or something that you really enjoy, that you can go out there and make good money with. Hey, Jason, will you please do an in-depth video on all the different unloaders and info on them? It's kind of tough because um, I don't have access to them. I'd have to buy them all. Um, not to say that I wouldn't buy them all, but that, K, that K7 is like a hundred and some bucks. So, I don't know. I, I, I'll see if I can figure out a way to talk about them different. What state has been the most lucrative for you? I don't know. 
that's not much at all. I got 16 year old friend making 14 at Walmart. Yeah, exactly. What I was making at the firehouse. That's why I quit. You need to work. That's why it's called work. Everything else can get handed to you. It is very appreciated, Jason. Please continue to do so. But it's a side gig. But to me, washing is a low. Um, what the? I've been on here forever. <laughs> An hour and a half. Hour and 20 minutes. I would say there is no bad time to start a soft wash business, except maybe Christmas Day, probably the wrong day. If you don't have a main job and have this as an everyday job and you have a monthly $5,000 of bills, know your I wrong business. This is a slow, slow process business if you don't have a main job. I, I don't agree with that. I know several people that have um, made plenty of money. In fact, I think that this is a business that if you are not employed and you need money you will go out there and find work i guarantee you when you're hungry you know i always i love people when they say well i can't do that because of this or i can't do this because of that i love when people say that because you know what that tells me is you're not hungry if you're hungry you will go out there and kill whatever you need to kill and bring it back if you're hungry you will knock on every door and make sure that you're getting that five thousand dollars if you're hungry you will go out there and do it now if you have another job and you're just supplementing this as your boat payment well no you don't care less if you do it if you're hungry and you need to make money and you want to make sure that your kids have food and you're all that kind of gear i guarantee you you will fight for everything you can you will you will not go in there and be like Ah, uh, this is just a side gig. I'm going to go take a nap. I don't need to work. No, when you're hungry, you're going to go out there and you're going to knock down every wall. You can knock down and hit everything that you can do to try to keep your um, stuff full. Because you know why you saying you have a CDL? I'm going to tell you a story right here. That I don't know if he's still in here. I know he was in here earlier. He had his CDL too. And he did something stupid. He went and got a DUI. And he lost his CDL. He lost his job. He lost everything at that point. His wife had to go back to work for a little while. You know what he did? He didn't just stop and say, Well, that's, I guess this is going to suck. This is it. No. You know what he did? He went out there and started pressure washing. And grown his business. His wife's quit that job now. And they live off the pressure washing money. For the two family with one kid and one kid on the way. Sorry to hear that, man. Just different experience. I guess I will say that salesmanship helps explaining the value. Yep. Hey, Jason. We are starting to get about six to ten calls a week from SEO. That's awesome. And we decided to offer just offer that as a service if you like one and eight hours to do so so one guy is doing it full time clip flyers so jason is a great thing about clip flyers he knows how to make it rain in florida he goes out and throws clip flyers it will guarantee rain in florida <laughs> Ten out of ten. Do you know anyone who can buy my pressure washing business in Minnesota? It has a dozen contracts, if not even six months old. I don't. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump off here. I know I got a bunch of questions still, but I'm gonna jump off here. Um, if you want to, there is um, five tickets left. Um, go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash washathon. Um, it is something that will change your life. I guarantee it. I know it's expensive, but sometimes um, free stuff will only get you so far. Um, just because I, that's how things work. Um, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, nobody else is going to invest in yourself. And so that's why you got to go out there and do it. Um, you know, it, and like I say, I understand that it is hard and I understand that it is something that takes time, but 
it is something that you will definitely not regret. Um, it is something that you can learn a lot. Um, and we're going to go down, like I say, I'm going to talk a lot about mindset. I'm going to talk, go into a lot of different things. I'm going to teach you about Christmas lights too. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. I love getting around fellow and uh, fellow um, washers and learning from their experiences, what, what, what's working for them and what's not working for them. You know, some people will say, Hey, I spent $10,000 and that didn't work for me. The other person might say, I spent $500 and it made me $10,000. And so that is the great thing about being at wash -a -thon. There's people that have never been in business and just starting out to people that are in business and wanting to get to the next level. Um, so that is definitely something that you will want to do. Also, make sure if you want to start your pressure washing business, go to pressurewashhelp.com slash free. And in there, I teach you all kinds of stuff. Um, everything I teach you will help you start and grow your business. Um, if you're good at learning from video, this is a great way to do it. If you're more of hands-on, then you can go to either pressurewashhelp.com slash washathon or pressurewashhelp.com slash in-person training. In my in-person training and washathon, um, I will be having a class in October also. And in that class, I it will be a lot of hands-on. You will get hands-on training from everything from pressure washing to Christmas lights to gutter cleaning um, and even lift training. I will be doing lift training there. We will have a lift boat day so that way you will get some lift training. I know sometimes people never get lift training and so that's what I'm going to do to get you lift training. So I hope you all have a great weekend or this week. Go out there and start doing. Quit saying I can't and start saying I can. Um, a lot of it has to do with up here, and when we can say we can do it, it will happen. Um, it might be hard, but it can be done, and you can do it. See you.